Alrighty. Good morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you are. Welcome to another Stitch With Me. Um, we're doing something different today. We're going to do some It Is Well. I started working on it just a smidgen. Got the A done last night. And uh, the birds are covered, but they're insisting upon talking. But, um, but we got the A done last night, and I was like, I want to continue it today. Figure we'll do it with a with a good stitch stitch with me that today get get some good progress done. Goal is going to be to get a bunch of the wording done. We're using uh, some gentle art thread. What did I do with the thing? Here it is. Ha ha. Using some of that. And I'm not sure the last time I've ever done one of these um, with uh, with this as far as like um, where is it? There we go. Uh, or what I've done in terms of um, stitch with me's with this particular piece. I don't think I've done a whole lot. Partially because this requires a lot more concentration. Um, let me tighten this up a little bit. A lot more concentration uh, to do. And the lighting up here isn't as good as it is where I usually stitch, so I kind of. I'm going to go slower with this and just talk while we slowly stitch. There we go. But, oh, we got a foot of snow overnight. Not overnight, I shouldn't say that. Yesterday we got a foot of snow. So like Thursday night, Friday during the day, um, and even a little bit more last night. And it's kind of funny because it was, uh, wasn't supposed to do nearly that. You know, they, it's, they struggle to really get the, forecasting to and that's not a that's not a slight that's not a a snide little comment it is it is the reality of living in Colorado that you just have a hard time um, with I'm trying to bring this light a little closer here maybe I can see a little better um, it is so difficult because the reality in a lot of ways is the mountains create the weather and so you really don't know what's going to happen um, before it just happens sometimes. And earlier in the week, they had forecast that we would get like six inches of snow, and it started snowing the night before, and they closed the schools and, you know, just uh, all these different things. And then in the end, we got like two inches, and it's not, that's nothing for here. And, and it just, you know, everybody's like, uh, here we go again. So then Friday or Thursday, they're like, yeah, it's going to snow again. We might get a few inches here and there and whatnot. And then it just dumped. And it dumped so bad that we, like, only did, like, half a day of work. A lot of people just didn't go into work that day. Um, and uh, we were able to... Um, I was able to come home and get a lot of... I still got a lot of work stuff done. If I think I finally finished up the vast majority of the work stuff that I have to do. And I was able to get some stitching done last night, which was really nice. And um, and then continue on today. I did mostly Rainy Waterloo Place last night. Got another chunk done towards finishing that page. And uh, so I'm feeling really good about that. But it'll probably be next week when I finish the page. Wow, I'm really struggling to be able to see this. Where, do I have my magnifiers up here? Uh, uh. My phone's talking to me. Um. Oh, no. <laughs> my buddy. Oh, my gosh. Okay, well, he's okay. Um. <laughs> Sorry. We had texted my buddy last night, um, or our buddy, because uh, there's a food truck that we wanted to try out, and... There's, um, it's over by my friend's uh, place, and so we texted him, and um, he just texted me back. He's actually on a cruise in the Caribbean right now. I was like, well, I hope you're not on a cruise in that in Asia. And uh, but anyway, it's kind of funny. Whoops, sorry, buddy. Actually, I hadn't talked to him in weeks, so that's my fault. Yeah, it's my fault. We're all busy, so I don't have my magnifiers up here, so. All right, I'm going to hope that I can. I think maybe if I put a piece of white paper. Here, let me find a really white. Maybe if I put, ooh, I've got some white fabric. 
that I can put underneath. And sometimes that will help you be able to see stuff a little, you know, holes a little clearer. Because this is like, um, what is it? Um, 32? 32 count? I think so. Anyway, so I'm sorry. I just got that text while we were talking. So it was, while we were talking, we got that text while I was doing this. I hope. So I guess he's not going to make it to lunch today. <laughs> Good for him. Good for him. Um, ah, Tangalicious. Tangalicious. But it has been a wonderful week of cross stitch. Especially since Thursday, well, Thursday, Friday, two great days of cross-stitch. I've got a big old surprise for you guys coming up on Monday. I'm going to do a video this weekend and detailing this surprise. You guys are going to be excited, I think. I think you're going to be real excited. It's going to be a fun thing. Um, and... You should you should guess in the in the comments what uh, what you think the surprise is going to be. Wow, I really can't see. Oh, I really can't see, guys. Okay, hold on. I gotta go get magnifiers. All right, so I got my magnifiers. So we'll see how this works. This has been easily the most interrupted beginning to a stitch with me that I've had. Because I actually recorded a... Um, oh, yeah, this is better. I recorded a... Uh, about five minutes, but... Zuzu was getting into trouble downstairs left and right. And it was allowed getting into trouble. So I had to stop and start over. And go down and put Zuzu in timeout. Now, if you guys see me make a mistake on this, let me know, because I'm not going to see me make a mistake on this. I may see it later, but uh, likely won't see it now, and we're just going to go slow. But anyway, so the the surprise is a coming, and it's really cool, and you guys are going to enjoy it. Um, but then the second thing that happened was I finally figured out what I was doing wrong with, and you guys are just going to be like, oh, Jules, um, what I was doing wrong with the whole old world map two and, um, ah, old world map two and, uh, um, pattern keeper. I'm such a dope head sometimes. So... <laughs> Should I even tell you guys what I did wrong? It's so bad. It's just so dumb. It is so I had uploaded, I had two different files that I had of Old World Map 2. I had the pattern in a PDF, and then I had, there we go, and then I had a PDF of just the print, of just the actual um, um, I, you know, sometimes I use it on, on one of these videos or I use it on the blog, the actual picture of the, of what I'm doing, of stitching. And I had uploaded the print instead of the pattern. That's why it didn't work. I didn't even notice for weeks. So once I basically uploaded, Pattern Keeper says, okay. This is password protected. What's your password? Well, here's my password. And now it works. And it's amazing. So I need to get some stitching done, do, yeah, going on it today. And uh, that would be awesome. It's going to be amazing. So anyway, so that was that was awesome. I was so happy. I zoomed in. It's just if you guys haven't used Pattern Keeper and you do any kind of 
decently sized cross stitch if it's if it's on um, um, what's the word if it's on um, any one of the you know like Hade now Golden Kite um, any of anything that um, they 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 support get the get the app. It makes it so much easier, it's so much fun, but it's so much easier to see things and do things with the app. No, I'm going to stop it right here so that I can get a good start on this next one. Well, I'm really using quite large needle for this. I usually don't. I didn't even realize that when I started. That is part of my problem as well. However, let me just take a glance around me real quick to see if I have a proper size needle up here. I don't want to go downstairs yet again. I've been downstairs too many times during this stitch with me. Ooh, of course there's one on the floor. Come here, you. Here we are. Oh. Is that the same size? Wait, where's the other one? Ah. No, this one's a lot smaller. This will be easier to use. Yay. Hooray. All right. All right, let me make, put some things aside. I've, I've got some cleaning to do today. Of course, I always say that. Do I do it? No. But got some cleaning to do today. It will be good. Did I drop it? I really do. I really do. You know, the sometimes you feel more flustered and like I can't get anything done because everything is so is so like messy. That's where I've been. All right, I hope I can thread this needle. Yeah, this will be a lot easier to use. Usually I catch, I catch that when I first start working on something, but Oh well, I just picked up what I was using last night. Apparently I wasn't paying that close attention. We were well, we were watching hockey too, so I was distracted. So yep. Got a nice foot of snow. Maybe more. Might have been more. Some Just came and came and came, would never stop. Just can't stop. I still think I need this white background a little bit. I know you guys are like, I can't believe how blind you are. Well, the lighting isn't the best right here. Here we go. So. Boot. What else is going on? I'm going to go all the way down here and do this one. There we go. So anyway, so I'm going to make some good progress on this one. one 
delicious. I'm feeling my age. I really should bring a stronger light. If I'm going to do this again, or something else like this again, I'm going to definitely need to bring a stronger light. Look to the light. So pretty much work closed up. You know, I saw a couple appointments, a bunch of paperwork. You know, it's it's been kind of a weird week. We've had some slow down because of the cold, cold weather and the snow. And so work's been pretty slow this week. And usually you're like, ah, no, we got to have business. I'm a firm believer that things happen for a reason. In the last week and a half, when I've been kind of slowish at work, I have had so much of this paperwork type things that I've had to get done. I mean, I've had to get it done. And thankfully, because of all the slow down. I've had more time to get it done. And I honestly think that despite the fact that this has been some of the biggest stress I've ever had professionally lately. And when it's all done said, I'll tell you guys once we get there, but I can't tell you. I don't want to tell you yet. But Thing happens for a reason and I firmly believe it's gonna work out okay I refuse to accept it's gonna do anything but work out okay so just keep pushing just keep pushing so I've been walking around all uh, all week telling people you can't park there I can't I'd love that commercial I just can't stop talking about it. Like, you can't park there. You know, you can't park there. And uh, there was a guy, a FedEx driver came in at lunch once, and I was, I was getting ready to go out the door, and he was coming in, and I looked at him. I said, you can't park there. And he's like, I'm, I'm, but I'm not parked. I'm just dropping. I'm like, oh, you didn't see the commercial. And so <laughs> I was like, I'm sorry. Poor guy. And now we're saying to the dogs, they go outside, we're like, you can't bark there. There's no barking. Take it to the dog park. Don't you dare bark at the doorbell. The dog, the dog bell. The dog bell? Okay. I know you can laugh at me if you guys already speak the accent. I'm not uh, terribly good at it. It's funny. It's just funny. Blooded hockey season. Oh, neighbors are moving. Neighbors are moving. Canadian neighbors are moving. They're going to get a bigger house. They want a bigger place. And so, because I got one kid who's growing up. It's like three, four, three, four. Has that kid had a haircut yet? I'm going to go over there with scissors and cut that boy's hair. He's got this like crazy curly hair. It's kind of funny. I keep telling his mom, I'm like, come on, mom, cut his hair. She's like, my baby. And then I laugh and I'm like, I know, I know. Doogie needs a haircut. He, uh, he is one stinky little bugger, so. 
I'm gonna try and track down my little clippers I have at home here. But I've got some shampoo. I got some Waterloo shampoo that I'm gonna use on today because he is a stink fest. So we're gonna work on him. I'm gonna sneeze here. Maybe, maybe not. Become aware of the sneeze. Mentally defeat the sneeze. Mentally defeat the sneeze. Oi. Takes more concentration. A bit more concentration. You can kind of see a little bit. It's not so bad. The sometimes it looks a little darker than some of the other stuff. That's that's sometimes what you get with uh, some of the more specialty threads. They're not always the same, and that's kind of a cool thing, you know. It gives it gives it more. Um, a bit more depth, more more uh, more character. I'm gonna highlight a little bit here. It's a good thing. Ooh. Really, this blind? I think I really am. Am I really this blind? Yep. What do I? Well, this is just disconcerting, people. The disconcertation. I'm going to tie this off right here. This may be the last time I do a linen piece on a stitch with me. <laughs> okay. So if you're struggling with being able to see really easily, then know that I share your pain. I think I really like when I'm working on this downstairs. I think I huddle over it so much that I'm able to see it more clearly. So, ah, so... Hey, pull my stuff up. But know that if you struggle with being able to see, you're not the only one. Boo, 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 boo. I have nicked up my hand so bad this week. I'm trying to remember how, how and why I've done that. I don't know. I can't remember. I just know that I've messed with them. I'm getting really close. I'm pulling this up tight, and then I'm getting really close with my glasses, trying to see what I'm doing. So anyway, neighbors are moving. This could bode poorly. 
If again, new neighbors move in with dogs, our lives will change again, back to our dogs having to be inside all the time. But it was so hard for that year and a half where that dog next door was outside all the time and barked all the time. Oh man, that was a long, long year and a half. Two. I don't have any really great stories for you guys this week that I can think of. Well, the stories that I have for you, I can't tell you just yet. So I'm going to do a video a little bit later and tell you those stories then. But uh, I am excited. I'm so excited. But, uh, there we go. I want to do, I need more time, but I'm hoping. I keep saying hoping. I'll get there. I'll get there. to finish something, you know? Don't finish things very often. I have kind of like short attention span on my projects. Well, it's not really short attention span as much as it's just I just kind of get tired of working on one thing, so i got to work on something different. And I'm like, yeah, I've worked on this one enough. My general feelings about it. Aha, I made a mistake. I caught myself though. Aha. There we go. Sometimes you can count the holes with the needle. You can just kind of run your finger run your needle across if you're if you're confident enough that you can feel the little divots of the holes. It helps. Whatever works for you. I don't find these projects harder in any sense to say like a full coverage. I just find them, they're a nice change of pace. How about that? And I find that I can get more done. You know, an hour spent stitching this project makes a bigger difference than an hour spent stitching on Rainy Waterloo or Reaper, but if I devoted as much time per week to this project as I do to one of those, you know, like Reaper or one of the other ones, then I would, um, this would have been done already, so... Such is life. Hmm. 
Hmm. All of a sudden, I can't really see the holes at all. Okay, so sometimes when I can't see the holes as well on something like this, I'll think that I need to tighten up my fabric. So let me tighten it up a little bit and see if it makes a difference, see if there's a spot or two where I can. And so I'm just pulling it through. And do I worry about damaging the fabric? Well, I haven't damaged the fabric yet. I think that if I had, I think if you pull it and your fabric tears, then it, I can't say for certain, but I would wonder if your fabric is just not as well constructed as others. Um, or, you know, you never know, maybe your hoop has a little snag in it or something, caught it just right. But, so I don't know, I don't know. All right. And then sometimes what I'll also do is if when I'm coming up to the top of this row is I'll actually count the squares between here and here and just see if I'm on on target and um, or still lining up the way that I need to be. That helps me. I don't think it would make a huge difference, but it's just another way to kind of self-correct if there is an issue. And there is three before you get to one. Two, three, perfect. And that is that lines up with that. Perfect. Excellent. So we are good. So it, it lined up up to there, and then it also lined up this way, and then it lined up like with how many how many of those squares it was down there. I don't even know what I'm singing. That's a little extra fuzzy up there. The fuzz factor is very odd it's because that's over there. We'll get rid of that at some point. The fuzz factor is very high in this one. Okay. Also hair on this thing. Here, let me see. I have a pair of scissors here. a little bit get it out of my get this corner out of my way a little bit keeps wanting to come down in my way oh hamster's awake drinking some water so we got the cleaning to do I'm gonna go out for a quick lunch, hopefully quick lunch, come back, stay in for the rest of the day. So probably focus more on website stuff this morning, get this video up and loaded, get it out there. When I get back, probably film the other video and then put a couple hours into cleaning, maybe a nap. I don't really need a nap. Went to bed last night, even though I wasn't like, I was like, eh, you know, it's time to go to bed. I should go to bed. And I wasn't tired, which was weird, which meant that I didn't work hard enough during the day. I must work harder. Little lame is. Little lame is, I think. Little 
like to use really long strands of floss when I'm working on linen. I don't know why. I just like smaller ones. It just feels easier for me to work with. But you do you. We all have our different ways of doing it. of counting. Hmm. I'm thinking it's hard. Thinking is hard. Okay. Alright. Because I'm looking down here and I've got this is this is the word well so I've got L L and there's this huge leap to the next word. And I don't know if I want to really do that on camera. I probably will. I should probably do that right now, in fact. <laughs> you shall not confuse me. Alright, so how are we going to do this? Um, I'm going to start from up here and count down and see if I can match up the top of this to the top of that letter. My hands are horrible. Just looking at them. Holy cow, you're probably staring at my hands going, man, your nails are terrible. Yep, and now that I've mentioned it, you won't be able to stop looking at them. I have not even looked at them. Oh, I don't do things with my nails. But I need some moisturization because I, I definitely have some issues with my, th my the cuts on my thumbs and stuff. This one was a cat, and so... Oh, we'll get there, guys. One, two, three, four. Oops. One. Ah, two. Three. Four. And down one more. Theoretically. Let's see if this works out. We're just gonna we're just gonna go ahead and make a stitch here and make sure. Boop. Bada boop. Bada boop. Aha! I think I did it right. Let me look again. Did. Yay. Hooray. Okay. Fabric still wants to get up. It's like it's just enough fabric to get in my way, but not enough fabric to really hold it consistently well. It's a double edged cross stitching sword. sure it lines. I kind of do this thing where I kind of line it up above so that I, I double check where it's at. And that is correct. Hooray! There we go. There we go. It's a little darker over here. I'm using, you know, this is going to sound crazy. I know I've got like eight hoops scattered around the house. But all the ones that I have right now are all these huge ones. I mean, well, huge. I mean, what, like six, six inches, maybe eight. Um, and uh, I don't usually like stitching on some time. Well, not usually, but I'll, this is the, the biggest size hoop I'll stitch on. Um, just because of control and weight in my hand and whatnot. Um, but, yeah. It's kind of a, kind of a mystery. Well, that that's gonna come with my cleaning up. So, 
that'll be all right. Oh my God, all kinds of, where did I get tangled up back here? I got tangled up back here. What the heck? What's going on here? I'm gonna cut this pot off. A random Bostonian accent for the rest of the day. It was like that last night too, it was pretty crazy. It was pretty crazy. Got a lot of hockey today to watch. They're having the big outdoor game coming up soon where they're going to have it outside at the Air Force Academy, which is like 45 minutes south of here. And, um, and Hubby was at first going, oh, we should go. And I'm like, no. Speaking from, ex well, not experience, but our buddy, the hockey maniac, the one that I went to the um, Stanley Cup final with, um, he went to the game they had here when the Avalanche played the Red Wings and it was at Coors Field, the baseball stadium. And he was like, it was pretty terrible. He's like, in terms of seeing the game, it was pretty terrible. He said he had fun, but if he actually wanted to watch the game, it was pretty hard because they were so far away um, from the action and really couldn't see much. And it was also ridiculously cold. And so playing at the I'm not sure if they're playing it at night or in the afternoon I hope they play it at night oh look at that I did not do that one right here let's go back and fix this um did not do that one right um or I should say because the football stadium has just like the um well, all, all the football stadiums out here I think are like this um no that's not true I think um no, 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 it is. I'm sorry. They're parallel with the mountains, so they run, like, north to south. So if you're if you're sitting on the west side of the um, stands, you're getting blinded by the light. Blinded by the light. Um, but they, uh, so if I, if I go into a football game, which is very, very rare, I can say I've probably only been to one in the last ten years, um, I try to get um, seats on the east side. The problem with that is that you never get sun, so you're freezing on that side. Um, so there's just really not a great way of doing it. So if you have it at night, it at least allows you to not have that massive sun glare that's just so annoying. Um, so, but I don't know what time the game is. But they've barely been advertised. I mean, as far as I can tell, barely been advertising for it. But we likely won't go. It'd be a great game for those people in Colorado Springs to go to. They probably haven't, you know, uh, don't have much of a chance to see hockey unless they drive all the way up. All the way up to Denver, which is a pain for them usually. Whew, that was a tough one. That was a tough one. But, uh, but, uh, <laughs> but, uh, I said, but, uh, <laughs> anyway, um, so that's coming up. Looking forward to hockey playoffs this year gonna be crazy it's gonna be crazy I am waiting all right let me highlight this pot there we go let's see all right so this is gonna be a big jump this is well it's not as big. It's four over. Yeah, I think I'm going to go up here. <laughs> oh, goodness.
sorry. There we go. Tuck all this fabric up. You guys probably have a better view of what I'm doing than I do. I should probably, I don't know, I tried that once where I tried using the camera for the, the site. does with that. Good, good. Good, good, good. The birds are... I haven't uncovered the birds yet, so, because I got up early and I'm like, you know, I'm going to come right back up and do the stitch with me, because it's got to be like 8 o'clock or something. And, uh... So I haven't uncovered them quite yet. So they're they're hearing my voice, but they can't see me. And so they're funny bummies. They're funny bummies. Ah. Is that right? Whew. Suddenly, okay. Break with the eyeballs. Eyeball break. I brought my, I don't think I have it as well up here. It's not on the back of this. I should bring, I need to bring that upstairs and put that up here. It has the color um, guide on the back, but this thing only has three colors, so you'd think I'd be able to know what I'm doing. Um, I can always write them down as well. That could be done. So, all right. A little bit of a final push, yeah. first here is that right here I'm having f flash forwards to what I'm going to be looking like when I'm stitching in like 20 years I'm going to have to get the huge magnifiers the huge I'm gonna take it out of the hoop now. And show you guys. I think I'm probably done with the stitching aspect of today's episode. Really tight. Really, really tight. All right, let's get this out of here. All right. Okay. Mm, let's see. Let me 
push this up a little bit so we can see a little better. Well, that's pretty cool. Um, so there's this part here. So there's just one more of like this area to go over here. So uh, I need a little bit more there and then that. And then I come down here. I got to finish this other L. And there's this little motif here. Or not, it's a kind of a decent sized motif. And then uh, taught me to say is there. And then with my soul is here. So that's good. And then it's just another run of these little designs along the bottom. So it's getting there. It is getting there. And so I definitely need to go downstairs. When I go downstairs, spend a little bit more time stitching on this one today. This made some good progress, but I need to make more. And the reality is for one week, I haven't made very much progress. So I definitely need to get in and fix up some stuff and, and do some more stuff. So, uh, yeah, I'm trying to think of what else. It's going to be really interesting seeing Golden Kite, Golden Kite, it's seeing Old World Map 2. I need to, um, I checked it out first. Ooh, wait, I've got it right here. Hold on. <clears throat> I checked it out first and, you know, before I said it worked, and I zoomed in on the page that I was on. And so here's my issue is probably I'm going to have to go back and highlight like the whole pages of everything that I've done so far, because the cool thing, the other thing that I've noticed about the, the pattern keeper app, which maybe it had this before and I just wasn't paying attention to it is that it actually will keep track of how many stitches you did that day on that project, which is really, really cool. So, um, so if, <laughs> so basically like I might do like, you know, 10,000 stitches in a day <laughs> if I highlight everything. But I think what this will do is I'll, I'll need to go in and I'll need to be very particular about what ones I still have to do and um, make sure that I leave those open so that I'm very specific. This, it, The thing about Pattern Keeper app, if you watch anybody else's um, um, tutorials and whatnot, it makes it very easy to see what color you haven't done yet or what what square you haven't done yet versus on a piece like this where I'm trying to figure out what I've done what I've not done and I'm like it's it can be difficult and so it slows you down bit bit vastly slows you down so I I am very excited to see what using pattern keeper is going to do for me and for this project going forward I just need to get it back into the schedule get, get it back into the rotation and um ow. I put myself, um, but uh, especially with getting closer and closer to getting it as well done, that will very, very much motivate me. But I'm so excited. The only thing I really, really need to have happen, and it will happen at some point, I'm confident, is I need cross stitch collectibles to be um, accessible on Pattern Keeper because that's the majority of what, I, not majority, but you know, baseball, apothecary shop, rainy wildy place. And I've got more that I haven't, you know, done and it would be so much fun to have it on there anyway. So, but thank you guys for hanging out with me today. Appreciate it very much. Um, I said, keep your eyeballs open for a, a video of a special video. That's going to be coming. Um, I'm going to release it Monday. I've got to like put myself a deadline, but I'm really excited about talking about this. So, um, you know, we're going to, you guys are going to be excited too, I think. You're going to be excited. So if you've been watching my channel for a while, um, I think you'll be excited. So um, it's not, no, it's really nothing personal. It has everything to do with cross stitch. And so, although it is kind of personal, but it's cross stitch. So um, I will talk to you guys really soon. Have a great rest of your weekend. Be safe, stay warm, stay cool, wherever part of the world you're in. And I will talk to you guys really soon.